Hi, Ronnie. Hi, it's you. nice to see you. What are you doing in uh, this secret how to lab or whatever so it is? This is a secret lab. You should not tell anyone that I brought you here. But I'm going to show you the next hot thing in Harvard. Wow, nice photo. Yeah. So maybe we should start with a bit of introduction. Uh, so sure. who are you? So usually my name is Oli Watermacher. Uh, I'm part of the product management uh, here in Extreme I.O. I've uh, been working for almost three years here. I'm excited to release this uh, brand new product. Uh, it's our baby here. So, nice. Uh, so I think we're going to cover maybe a little bit of uh, upcoming Generation X too. Uh, so let's start. Maybe we'll start with the storage controller itself. Yes. So uh, what can you tell me about it? In X2, we're going to have um, two types of storage controllers. Um, <coughs> how it looks uh, in a quick pick. Ah, it looks like uh, somebody stole all the RAM. Yeah, so again, this is the hardware lab and uh, we're not allowed to be here, so we can't complain. Yes, exactly. So uh, <laughs> we have uh, 25, 24 slots for DIMMs here. Um, yes, we have yeah, two uh, CPUs, 12 cores each. Uh, we have two flavors for a controller, depends on the uh, flavor of the product. Mm. Uh, X2R will have one terabyte of uh, RAM, uh, and X2S will have uh, 384 gig. Uh, both will have the uh, NVRAM card. Right, so will, maybe you can show us where the NVRAM is. Yes, the NVRAM is located here. And uh, this one here. Exactly, and it's uh, power, the super card is located here in this cage uh, in the front. So let me just get it straight. So in X1, we used to have the battery backup units, known as the UPS, right? Right. And we got rid of those UPS. Yes. And we removed them, and what did we put inside instead? So we got rid of the BBU. As you said, we get better density, less weight, and uh, each uh, controller is autonomous, which is a great advantage. And now we have the NVRAM, which uh, basically acts as a normal um, um, Beam in a PCIe slot, right. and once uh, it, uh, there's an outage in power, it dumps all the data into the flash uh, device. Right, right, right. right. It's on nice one. one. So finally, using NVRAM, so yes. the storage controller, no place for any user level whatsoever in terms exactly. of cabling, so that's good. Right? Anything right. else that's important? Less cabling is also right. Right important. Uh, right, we have the ID card here. We moved it to uh, using the FDR rate, 56 gig. It's also an improvement from the X1. We have uh, another card which is missing here, which is our IO card. Right. Okay, it's a custom design for us. Four ports in one card. Uh, we're moving it to 16 gig FC. This card, especially, has dual personality. Two of the can move from using from ISCAD Ethernet to FC. Uh, Okay, nice. Yes. Anything else that is important to yeah, So we keep the important things as we have with X1, dual PSUs, everything is redundant from the system level, um, high quality device. Okay, nice, nice one. So we cover the storage controller, right? We cover only one. We didn't say that we have the uh, two storage controller, right? So uh, an expert. Right. Now let's speak about the DE here. I heard that you prepared something really, really awesome in this. Yes, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, in X1, we had, uh, what, 25 drives per DA? Yes, we had 25, and then you can see amazing 18 drives. 18 drives? Yes. That's amazing, that's less than X1. It's amazing because we have it four times. Wow. Yeah. So, let me show you. Nice. Now this box, what's, first it's um, full HA from any perspective, everything in the front, in the rear, everything is HA, full redundancy in everything. Um, everything is uh, foldable, everything you can change, you can replace, it's, it's really a, a magic box. Um, and we'll, we'll allow the customer to grow, we're going to allow to have 6 SSDs per X week. 6 by 6. By 6. Six packs? What is it? Okay. <laughs> there you go. We were count, count the engineers to come with a company that really precise uh, numbers of drives to scale up. So, what? Each DAE can have up to how many drives? Each, each row is 18 drives. Right. And how many? Why six? Because it's a third of the row. And we can have four 
where four holes in one day, up to uh, 70 drives, you can start with 18 and grow gradually up to 72. 72 drives per day. Exactly. That's super denser than X1. Exactly, and we have two flavors. We have the X2S with 400 gig, and we have the largest of the 192 terabyte for X2R. Right, and, and we started with 192, but we also support larger and larger and larger drives. Nothing we don't have any issues with the metadata whatsoever. As I recall, there was uh, some uh, rumors in the industry. Right, nice. So we have a very dense configuration in pretty much the same footprint, right? Because it's the same, it's same DAE. Exactly. It's 2U as we had in X1 for the DAE. Uh, but this time, instead of 25, we have 72, and each one is louder than we had in X1. Nice. And if you remember the, B, the DBU we lost, it brings us to up to four times the density terabyte per U. Right. The there you go. So, so I just want to make sure that I understand it correctly. We could always scale out in X1, right? To go from right. one X split up to eight. Right. That's still cool for X2. You can still go from one X split to eight. But in addition to scale out, we can also scale up. Scale up. But also for scale out, now we're not limited to a dual brick uh, scale now. Nice. We can uh, go one brick at a time. Right. So from one brick to two, from two to three, from four to five, and so on. So all the end even configurations. Whatever you need. Really support. You need to scale out in the performance, no problem. You need to scale up. We have a lot of room here to grow. Do whatever you need. You need whatever your cluster needs. Uh, we'll nice, nice. I think that's part of our journey toward being a truly enterprise array that needs to accumulate so much capacity. Right. In the old days, the uh, SSD was more maybe used for VDI, a little bit of copy data management use cases. Now we can go fully for pretty much every transaction workload, whether it's the VSI use case, just generic VM that needs a lot of apps and low latency, and of course our exceptional use cases like copy data management and VDI. Okay. Any, anything else that is important that maybe you have seen on the DA? So just we really mentioned the rate. 12 gig SAS, which is also on the phone from uh, X1, which was uh, 6, uh, 6 gig. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's a brand new scenario. Nice. Only I'm, I'm amazed. Just don't tell anybody. I, I wouldn't tell anybody. I won't post this movie up in YouTube. Nobody will ever see. I remember. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.